The State of the Nation Address, or SONA, is generally a reporting of what the administration has fulfilled from the promises it made from the year that was, and an uprising of the initiatives it has done at the start of its term. It is also a venue for the nation's top leader to set out the direction he or she envisions for the country, with the help of the Congress. But Congress must first convene to open its sessions and elect leaders for the Senate and House of Representatives before the President delivers his report to the nation. And so today, the dawning of the 18th Congress begins. In Pasay City, despite previous talks prodding Senator Cynthia Villar to challenge Senator Vicente Soto III for the Senate presidency, Soto was re-elected Senate President. Meanwhile, Senator Ralph Recto was elected Senate President pro tempore, Senator Juan Miguel Zubiri as Majority Leader, and Senator Franklin Drelon as Minority Leader. Senator Soto's legislative career speaks for itself. So I will say that on a more personal level, I believe he is the best man for the job. Senator Vicente C. Soto is a workhorse, an institution in the Senate, a man of the people. And I hope you all agree with me he is the Senate President we need for this Congress. Here at the Batasang Pambansa Complex in Quezon City, members of the House of Representatives were abuzz in anticipation of what could happen after a rather turbulent weeks ahead of the opening of its regular sessions. After a series of twists and turns, promises that were allegedly broken, and hints of a possible coup, the House was to elect its new Speaker after its former leader, then Pampanga Representative Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, ended her third and final term as Congresswoman. At 10 a.m., the House session opened presided by the Acting Secretary General. Almost immediately, nominations and elections for the fourth highest government official of the land commenced. The verdict? House members come to the proposal of President Rodrigo Duterte a term sharing between Taguig Representative Alan Peter Cayetano, his running mate in 2016 national polls, and Marinduque Representative Lord Alan Velasco from the ruling PDP Laban. Based on the proposed scheme, Cayetano would serve as speaker in the first 15 months and then relinquish the post to Velasco, who shall take the helm of the House for the remaining 21 months. A House lawmaker has a term of three years. I, Alan Peter Compañero S. Cayetano, of, of the 1st District of Taguig City and Pateros, having, having, been elected as, having been elected as the Speaker of the House of Representatives, 18th Congress, so help me God. Another Speaker aspirant, later Representative Martin Romualdez, was also elected as House Majority Leader, while Presidential Son in Davao City Representative Paulo Duterte was chosen as Deputy Speaker for Foreign Affairs. As the political drama in Congress subsided, all eyes shifted to President Duterte's Sona. Amid heavy downpour, senators, congressmen, cabinet members, and other dignitaries as well as celebrity guests showed up at the Batasang Pambansa to listen to the Chief Executive's report to the nation. But the man of the hour, President Duterte, came an hour late for a scheduled 4 p.m. speech, thus delaying the anticipated annual affair. In his speech, President Duterte discussed several issues, but the most notable were the issues of death penalty and the West Philippine Sea. I respectfully request Congress to reinstate the death penalty for heinous crimes related to drugs as well as plunder. On the matter of the Philippines, West Philippine Sea, more and better resources can be reached in the privacy of a conference room than in the squabble and the squabble in the public. That is why I will do in the peaceful way, mindful of the fact that it is a national pride and territorial integrity that are at stake. Short of expressly advocating a call to arms, there are those who say that we should stand up and stop those who fish in our economic zone. 
of course we will do in due time and besides i was invoking yung traditional fishing rights it is in that arbitrary ruling ayaw lang ninyo gustong tignan it is mentioned there that even before countries were in existence people around an ocean or a lake had already been fishing there for generations and that is why fishing rights are allowed three years the time left for president duterte to lead the country and fulfill all his promises which catapulted him to power will he succeed no one knows but one thing is certain the public is closely watching waiting this is neil Arwin mercado reporting for inquirer.net